Hi, I'm Rich at New Life Scientific, and today I'm uh, going to show off this beautiful microfluidics M110P. P is for uh, the power unit. Um, this one, unlike its predecessor, is does not require air. This one has actually got a, a hydraulic system built underneath the hood here where it's utilizing a motor which pumps hydraulic fluids into a pump, which then utilizes the ramming of a uh, rather than the air piston it's a hydraulic piston so in behind here you have a hydraulic piston that just actually moves the pump ram back and forth and it does create extremely high pressures and then you can eliminate the needing of having uh, an air compressor that requires a lot of cfm or burning through your um, laboratory bottles of trying to run your air models but this is definitely the answer for the ones that really don't want to mess with air. They just want to plug it in, I'm going to turn it on, and they want to get it going. Um, so I'm going to kind of go over a little bit how uh, you would proceed with this. Um, this particular model actually has the bleeder valve on the side here, which is really nice. Um, so what, what we like to do is just get a syringe, and you can use a little bit bigger one depending on how much air you need to get in. And just plug that in and, and you don't need to even start the machine yet just open up your valve all the way until it stops and then just suck in and you can see the air bubbles we're getting out of there and that's what we want we want to pull all the air bubbles out of the system because we don't want any air in there and once i got a full syringe i'm just gonna shut this again here and then that allows it to just stay in the system and i'm just going to let it bleed off a little air here i can pull this back off and just move it back up here and i'm just using alcohol for this demonstration and right now i actually have um, the return hose hooked in back here and i'm just recycling it back into the glass reservoir here this particular model comes with a diamond um, which is the upgrade from the ceramic and it's got the 75 micron so um, you need a lot of pressure for 75 micron so we've actually got this unit set pretty high right now we're going to go ahead and power it on uh, one thing that this unit does put, a, put off a little bit of noise because you've got a, like I said a hydraulic system running but in all reality the noise level isn't any worse than the air models that they have and that what we sell also so I've got the power on back here you can see this is actually got the light on it first thing you want to do is just turn the motor on and like i said it's a little noisy the motor's running but now we're not actually engaging the the hydraulic systems yet and that's what this lever here is for it's the intensifier you just pull to start it and push to stop so we're just going to pull this up and right away we're going to start getting some hydraulic action here and you can see right now we're hitting over 30,000 PSI on the pressure gauge here. And over here, you can see every time the ram is coming forward, it's pushing through. And we do have some air bubbles in the system yet, but we did get the majority of them out. So once we get the real high pressures, you can, that's about when we know all the air is out of it. But these things run very, very, smoothly compared to the air powered ones and we've also went ahead and put some water in the cooling coil here um, the cooling coil gets really hot because of the extreme pressures pushing through a diamond 75 micron chamber there produces some real warm temperatures and just does have an outflow here yet where you can just flow in some cool water if you're running it continually but right now um, for this demonstration, just a little bit of cool water in there. But that's as simple as it gets, folks. It's just a beautiful machine, runs nice and smooth, very consistent, hitting the 30,000 PSI mark. Um, and up here, I'm gonna just show you here, this is the pressure adjustment knob. So when I turn this knob down and you watch the gauge over here, you're gonna notice the stroke is just gonna get less and less on the PSI. So now we're running only about 25,000 PSI there. And turn it down a little more. But it's just that simple. You just adjust it into where you need the pressures. 
But like I said, when you got a 75 micron mixing chamber, you need to stay up into the higher pressures to drive it through, depending on your what you're mixing also. But, but very straightforward, simple, plug it in, get the air out of it, um, power it up. Same thing with flushing it, you know, you'll just flush, flush everything back out of it and run uh, some clean water. But you always want to make sure that you definitely got some fluids in here in the piston area where the pump is moving. If it's dry and you're moving it, it's very hard on that ram in there. So getting the fluids in, priming it, and then powering it on and keeping it going. But um, like I said, this machine is we just got it in. It's a beautiful machine, works great and definitely better than having to have a, a huge air compressor or a, a bottle of air that you need to always continue to run these. It's a great option for those that want to mess with that. If you got any questions on this unit or any other units that we have, give us a call here at New Life Scientific and I'd be glad to answer them. Thank you for watching.